The warm weather just seems to be never ending. It's actually the warmest start to fall we've ever seen in Spokane. There's wacky weather going on all across the western United States, and it's all because of one thing. News. And we have meteorologist Matt Gray here to explain what that is and how much longer we may have to wait for this pattern to change, Matt. I mean, I probably could use a good brain scan, Aaron. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we've been warm and dry for a while, but look, get a load of this. This is our situation here in the Northwest. Our rain totals this year, we're getting lapped by some of the driest places in the county. No, I did not mistype that. That is Death Valley, California, with more rain since July 1st in Spokane and Seattle. Yeah, high pressure in control of our weather more often than not. But in October, it hardly ever lasts for as long as it is right now. Well, that high pressure that's moving into our area, it's going to get stuck. And that's because that low down off the coast of Los Angeles, that's its dance partner, that low pressure in the southwest. Now, this pattern that's got to lock in for this upcoming week, this is called a Rex block. The man who coined the term, his name is uh, Rex. That's why they call it that. The high is stacked over top of the low. The winds swirling in opposite directions around these weather features. And that is basically acting like a kink in a water hose. But this time that hose is the jet stream winds that would otherwise be bringing us those big fall storm systems off the Pacific Ocean. So until one of these two features or both ends up weakening, we're going to be stuck in this pattern. And as long as the block is there, we get Hot and dry up here in the northwest and cool and wet more often down in the southwest. So something has to break this down. We think we may have a solution here. There's a strong low that's swinging out of the Arctic and over Russia right now, and that might just do the trick. You can see on this computer model simulation, it charges up the jet stream winds, and those jet stream winds, they slam into the northwest by next weekend. That's why Chris is talking about some potential for some changes. That would be great news after, well, what has been a really smoky start to this fall, but this far out, exactly how big of a change this is going to be, it's a long way to go. It's still unclear. In the meantime, enjoy the sunshine. We'll keep you updated here in the Weather Center on what should be a very fascinating situation. Sounds good. Thank you, Matt. If you want to go beyond the basics of the forecast, know a little more of why the weather happens and how it can affect us all, subscribe to The Brainstorm. We've got insight on our weather coming to your inbox every week.